Aaron, how badly does this one sting? Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously, you know, get the ball to Chappie there. You feel good about that and, and getting a split today. Um, but, you know, you got you to gotta turn the page quickly here. And, you know, obviously, tough stretch for us right now. Um, you know, some good things are happening. Uh, another good job by um, Lowe and, and, and Otto and Nelson to get and, and Sessa there. Uh, to get through the middle of their order there and, and get the ball to Chappie. Uh, we just got to start finishing some games off now. You mentioned turning the page quickly, but how difficult is that to do when you're having the stretch that you're having seven straight losses? Not. I mean, it's what we do. It's what these guys do and what they're so good at. And, um, you know, we just got to get, you know, finish off one of these games and, you know, keep grinding away while it's obviously, you know, a little bit tough for us right now. With Chapman, he hasn't pitched in 11 days. Do you attribute that to the fact that he wasn't particularly yeah, sharp out there? Yeah, it's not ideal. It's not ideal. You know, it's you know we've been kind of really trying to get him in. Um, you know, we've been close a couple times, and you know, even even a game where we were committed bringing him in just to make sure he pitched the other day on the road in Atlanta, but it turned into what looked like a safe situation. Then that went away. So. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, obviously with his season starting a little bit slow and now not getting the, the that regular work, um, you know, hopefully we can start getting in that position more often and things will get a little more regular for him. Who else? Uh, Brendan Cuddy, go ahead. Aaron, after a tough day like this, do you address the team? Do you guys talk after this or do you just let them do their thing? Um, I mean, nothing that nothing as a group or anything. You know, we talk to guys and uh, you know just try as best we can to get them prepared to, and ready to go tomorrow. Uh, Bradford, go ahead and unmute. Hey, Aaron. Um, I'm not sure if uh, you uh, heard the news, but Chadwick Bozeman happened to pass away. Uh, earlier today, he happened to you know, use Jackie Robinson in the 42 movie. Um, I'm sure many people watched. I'm not sure if you oh, had wow. any, if you, if you were aware, if you had any reaction to that. Uh, I, I did not. I did not know that. Wow. Uh, no, that's the first I'm hearing of it. George King, you have the next question. Can you hear anything on the Mayhew? Is he still set for Sunday? Um, I know it went really well today, so we'll see where we're at now going into tomorrow. Meredith, back to you. Aaron, Gary Sanchez came up in some big situations, especially in game two. He continues to struggle at the plate. What have you been seeing from him? Yeah, just, you know, a little bit with, with uh, pitch recognition. Um, again, kind of falling back into that where his timing's a little <laughs> bit off, where he's, you know, I, I, I think, you know, not recognizing the ball um, well enough early to make really quality swing decisions. He did, he did have the bases loaded walk. That was big and good to see, um, you know, but we got to get him rolling a little bit, obviously, um, you know, especially with some guys down. He's an important, important guy for us. And uh, hopefully we can we can start. He was kind of building some momentum, I felt like, um, you know, before we got shut down and then um, you know, we got to get him back to that place. 